Hey everyone, this is Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified of future videos. Okay, let's see what we have. I'm gonna try and show you the different ages and sizes of caterpillars I have right now. There's this little guy. I found him out in my garden this morning. He had pretty much just hatched and was eating his egg. He's already grown a little since this morning. So we have caterpillars that size. We have some caterpillars this size. I noticed that they eat more during the evening hours. Oh, he's moving a little bit. But they eat more during the night. And then um, early evening they start back up. They kind of sleep more during the day. I don't know if they're considered officially nocturnal, but anyway, here it starts a little foggy. I'm filming now through the side of the container, but there's a pretty big one. Uh, and here you can see I have quite a few chrysalides, one, two, three, four in this container, one in this container. I've got five in this container and another three in here and you can see that big guy in the back he looks like he's getting ready to j hang and oh wait sorry four chrysalides in here oh that one over there on the side must have just formed today and then there's another big guy that's going to come so this is kind of where we're at right now i'm i have a lot right now so i'm trying to not look for too many more eggs at this point um, I have six of these containers, and this one has quite a few big ones. Let's see if I can open this up and show you a little better, clearer. Yeah, these three uh, will probably all be hanging from the top by tonight. Um, yeah, so then that'll be three more chrysalides. Anyway, I'm trying to not find too many more eggs right now just because I have six containers full and you don't want to overpopulate them because the poop builds up and um, it's not good for them to be in a container with that poop for too long so then it's more to clean and all of that so I've got quite a few right now and um, I did have four uh, butterflies emerged this week However, I was at work when all of them happened, so I wasn't able to film this year a butterfly emerging, but I didn't want you all to be disappointed, so I am going to insert a clip here of a butterfly emerging. Um, I did film it. This happened last August, so this was my 13th butterfly that emerged last year. That was my last one. I only did 13 last year. I'm already up to 10 so far this year, plus all these guys that you see here. So I hope you enjoy it. I sped it up just a little bit because by itself it was like six minutes long. So hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions or any comments in the comment section below. Thanks. So this is when you know the butterfly is ready to emerge. The chrysalis is basically clear. You can see the wings and everything inside. And sorry, last year I filmed this with my phone up and down. Um, so hopefully you can still see it. Um, this is sped up two or three times, I think three times, but um, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to let you watch this and I'm still hoping to film another one this summer and I will be sure to post that as well. I will say it is a little shocking when that abdomen first plops out. It is very full of a fluid that then in the next minutes um, that fluid pumps into the wings and that's what will uncrumple the wings and then once they are dry the butterfly will be able to fly away.
I'd say right now it does seem like a very uh, time consuming process, but when you think back of all the changes that have taken place with this in the last two weeks, going from egg to caterpillar and growing and then forming its chrysalis and then now emerging as a butterfly, it is all very remarkable and I hope you've enjoyed it. So I'm showing you two butterflies here that both emerged on the same day. This one on the right obviously came out a little sooner, but you can just uh, see the difference here between the wings being crumpled and then fully extended. These here are two butterflies that emerged just a few days ago, um, August 2019. They were both kind of in the same space and um, it was kind of funny how they were both trying to fly away at the same time, but yet not fly away. So um, I'd say each butterfly is different, but from the time they emerge, it could be anywhere from, I'd say 30 minutes to two or three hours before they feel ready to fly away. I also wanted to show you the difference between a female and male monarch. The female has very dark, solid, thick black lines all through the wings. And on the male, especially the lower part of the wings, you can see the lines are thinner and they have those two black spots. So that's how you can tell if you should look for eggs or not. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and link my Monarch Monday playlist here in case you've missed any of the videos in this series and would like to know more. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.